forces only come in pairs that are equal and opposite, why don't all forces cancel each other? Well, the trick is these forces act on different objects. If they all acted on the same object, they would cancel out, but they don't. They're acting on different objects. So if you think about it in terms of free body diagrams, you'd be doing a free body diagram for each of these objects. You're not going to have a free body diagram that has the initial force and the reactionary force, or the paired force, I should say, uh, nearly as, or the paired force, all on the same diagram. You may have heard Newton's third law stated as for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction which is something of a restatement of the law, but it also can be somewhat confusing because you're not really talking about what actions and reactions are. Instead, Newton's third law, the force of object one on object two, is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction to the force of object two on object one. And forces only come in pairs. You can never have a singular force. Thanks for watching Educator.com. We'll see you again real soon. Make it a great day, everybody.